We are going to focus on Shelton here, presented by our great friends at our community credit union. And from the city, Jordan Crumples is here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, how are you doing? Good. How are you guys? Good, good. good. Coming up are the uh, some of the funnest three weeks in Shelton here <laughs> with uh, empty bowls on the way. Yeah. Uh, so starting next week, uh, the next three Wednesdays, so the 4th, the 11th, and the 18th, we do our empty bowls event down at the Civic Center from mm-hmm. 5 to 7. Um, presented by the Shelton Arts Commission. We provide all the materials, and Glenn he- Helen Smithers does all the firing forge, which is awesome. Um, so first week is you get to come out, you give you a slab of clay, and you can build a bowl, or some people build other things other than bowls. Um, the second week, come back and paint it, and then the third night is come. We have uh, other restaurants around town. I think we're doing Taylor Shellfish this year. We have Polly's Place, which is new, mm. so we're going to get a new nice. one from them oh, this year. Oh, cool. Um, we have Smoke and Moe's, The Strip, Kern's Kitchen, um, so they're all going to be providing oh, us something. Awesome. Olympic Bakery does all of our bread for us, oh, so nice. shout out to all them for partaking and donating something for us in that evening. All of those days are fun, and I've been doing empty bowls for many, many years now, before Kaiser was even around, and we'd come out and do these, and the number of folks that have uh, come out year after year the increase in number is pretty spectacular yeah so i know i think it started back in 2006 and i remember them just saying there's hardly anyone yeah. last year we had about over 200 pieces of art wow. um we yeah. use all of our tables practically just to get people in yeah there. and it, it's a great time what's fun about it too is i mean nobody's a picasso <laughs> I guess they he, would like to think i guess so. he was a paint guy whoever <laughs> nobody was a sculpt nobody's a super sculptor yeah yeah so everybody sits down and they all kind of look at each other and and then you start talking, and then you mm-hmm. go, oh, so that's how you're doing that. And there's instructions as well on yeah, how to so make the... Yeah, so we have the... the basic instructions. Usually the two main styles is a pinch pot yep. or coil. Yep. Some people like to do their own thing, you just kind of totally fine. Keep trying as long but... as it, it's got a little bit of a thick base, so when it fired, it can move around and yep. doesn't break. It's has to be fairly... in a pokey, didn't you? <laughs> no, but that's not <laughs> a bad idea <laughs> to do some figurines, maybe. We had a few of those last year, and some of them actually survived the yeah. firing process. Says. It's really cool to see the kids that come out and make these because then there's stamps that you can put on there. That's cool. And then the painting uh, is a whole nother thing because you and I could make the, the same exact the bowl. Yeah. But then when the painting comes through and you choose yeah. the colors, it's a totally different bowl. Oh, yeah. End. Yep. It's pretty sweet. Why, why has the Arts Commission decided to do this and continue to do this? I mean, I guess it's a great community outreach and stuff, but this community is real. Community outreach and... We don't have a lot of art stuff around town, so I think this is a great art aspect for people who don't like maybe the sports aspect or politics or anything along that side. It's art, so yeah. they, they come in, get their hands dirty. It's a good way to meet people, socialize. Um, all the proceeds go to St. Pantry's Food Bank, so that's the other upside. So all of the money that's raised goes to them at the end. Last year, we made over $1,600, so which is great, and that number slowly increases every year. So the volunteers that are there walking around and helping you out or right at the front desk, where, who are they? They just So most of our volunteers are the Arts Commission. Okay. Um, I'm there. Some We get Mark Ziegler's there. Sometimes we get some city staff that come and help out with that, too. But other than that, it's usually just the Arts Commission. What else does the Arts Commission do? They choose the so rotating gallery? So they do gallery. all those stuff for the rotating art gallery. Um, we were part of the project for the traffic boxes that you see around town mm-hmm. for the three of those. Yep. Um, that was a new thing last year. Um, and that was the, those are the two main things, empty bowls in the rotating art gallery. What time does it start? Starts at five. Doors open at five, goes from five to seven. And if you get there at 6.30 or 6.45, there's still going to be clay. There still will be clay. You just have to make a bowl pretty fast. Pretty quick. Clean up starts at seven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a fast bowl. <laughs> so five o'clock. And, and so we've been there right at five, if not a little before. And there's been years where we'll, we'll be there the whole time either making a bowl yeah. and then starting over a yeah. couple times or just once you're done you just sit around and chit chat yeah. with folks yeah and then the arts commission always makes extra bowls so say if you can't make the first night but you want to come for the glazing we usually have extra bowls for people who mm. didn't make it the first night and, and then what if you want to just come for the final night to donate some funds to saint's pantry and have some of the soup you can still do that you still can do that yeah we ask for a ten dollar donation for a free bowl of soup and bread 
Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Uh, everything else going good with the city? Yeah. So far, so good. Nice. Now I'm getting ready for spring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> That's it. All right. Well, Jordan, good to see you. Good and to we'll see, see you. We'll see you on Thanks Wednesday for, for Empty Bowls Sounds here. Sounds good. As we focus on Shelton, presented this week and every week by our great friends at our community credit union.